Hacía muchísimo tiempo que tenía ganas de hacer una entrevista sobre Drive. Pude hablar con el doble de riesgo de Ryan Gosling, con Jeremy Fry, que me contó cómo fue prepararse para esta película, cómo fue hacer cada una de estas escenas donde la conducción tenía que ir al límite o casi que al límite, cuánto fue que influyó la música en la preparación de esta película y durante el rodaje y un montón de cosas más, todo en este informe sobre Drive. We now return to Mira Akian and Contre with our latest interview. What's interesting is Drive is, I guess it's kind of known for it, but when you watch it, you can't help, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is, but you can't help but just, you, you can't, You can't not notice the music in that movie. And I, you, I can't say that about hardly any other movie, you know? So you just moved to LA? No, I've been here for a while. What do you do? I drive for movies. I had no idea what the music was going to be. I don't think anyone did. So it certainly wasn't part of when we were filming it. You know, they, were, they didn't play the music for us. It wasn't a motivation. Just when, you, when, we, when I went to the theater to watch the movie for the first time, Gosh, this, this music is great. So the music is really cool. Um, that was Nicholas winning Refn. He he did a, he did an amazing job with that. It's funny. The most it seemed like the most popular one is the opening sequence. Yeah. And it's funny because it, it wasn't really shot as it was supposed to be more of like a just any. An evasive, an evasion of, of the cops, as opposed to a running from the cops. He just kind of like, oh, I'm going to go over here and hide, and then cops go over there, and then they come over here, so I'm going to go over here. That's kind of the idea. I mean, we, in fact, we were shooting. We called it slow speed chase because <laughs> we hardly did anything. In fact, I was told to slow down sometimes, like, hey, hey, hey just. And there was one time I remember in particular we we're doing this thing where I'm coming over the over one of the bridges. Like at this point, shouldn't he be like full throttle, just racing through traffic? I'm like, no, 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 don't. I'm like, all right, it's just. I mean, at this point, the cops see him, and and sure enough, in the movie, you see is there the car is coming over the bridge, and the soundtrack has the engine screaming and just grabbing gears, wah, wah, wah. But if you look at the other cars, we're all going the same speed. And uh, I'm like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew he was supposed to go faster there. Yeah. So we did a couple of gags in, in that sequence, so not much, it was mostly him just hiding from the cops. And again, what made that so interesting was the sound. The, the sound. The, I mean, Darren did a great job shooting it. The lighting, it is. It's all. It all works together. But in my mind, the cherry on the top is the sound design on that. The sound design really puts you in the middle of it. Um, not just the music, but the actual design itself. And in this case, you were the stunt double for a stunt double. <laughs> did this? Oh yeah. <laughs> was yeah. this like easier for you, or or help you <laughs> to to do the process? Well, what was funny? What was funny was. When, when Darren asked me about it, uh, he said, hey, are you available? I got this show. It's, it, you know, we don't, the, the names of the movie mean nothing to us at the time because the movie hasn't been made, so it means nothing. Other than, like, Baby Driver, for example, we're like, this is such a stupid name. This is such a dumb name. But it worked. It worked. I mean, Edgar stuck to his guns. He, he kept the name, and, you know, and Alex, it still might be a dumb name, but it has very clear associations. So, yeah. Drive, you know, we, I had no idea if it was going to be a good movie or not, but what Darren said was, Uh, he goes, yeah, you'd be, you're going to be doubling. It's a story about a stunt driver who moonlights as getaway driver. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, what stunt guy wouldn't want that job? What? First of all, most stunt, most stunt guys want to drive. And I, I'm so blessed and so fortunate to be one of the guys who can actually, who can make a living doing it. It's Because there's, there's so many more talented people out there. Um, but everyone wants, not everyone, so many people want to drive. It's, it's, um, It's a cool, it's a really cool, and I know why. It's it's why I wanted to drive because it's cool, and yeah. you know I'm fortunate now to be in the seat sometimes. Is that dangerous? It's only part time. You put this kid behind the wheel. There's nothing he can't do. When you get to drive on a movie and you get to play a stunt guy, I mean, come on, who who wouldn't have wanted to be to work on on uh, on Foggy? Who who wouldn't want to, to be Lee Majors? You know, so it was um. It was a really cool job to be asked to do, and uh, we did some 
we did some pretty cool stuff. I really, um, actually, the the crash at the the crash with uh, with with the Mustang and that Chrysler, and that crash did not come out how we thought it was going to come out. And but he ended up Nicholas ended up loving it, which is great because that does that's not always the case when things yeah. don't go as they're supposed to go. In my experience, it's usually for the worst. Yeah. And, and, and actually, what's funny is it didn't go how it was supposed to go exactly. I mean, looking back on it, I'm actually that was probably the toughest thing I've ever had to do that crash. And at first, I'm like, man, I must have messed it up. You know, kind of a similar. I, I sing that song a lot, but I look back on it and like, no, I, I I actually was really proud that I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I hit I hit the exact place I was supposed to hit at the exact angle. I hit the buttons. I had two buttons I had hit at different times. I hit them at the right time. It's just the car, the dynamics of the car, just it, it did something we weren't exactly expecting. Yeah. And so at the time, everyone, everyone, it was kind of a letdown, a bummer. People were like, oh, oh man, that's, it was, it was crickets. When the car came to a rest, it was crickets. And there's nothing worse than doing something, having everyone just be quiet. <laughs> so I kind of crawled out of the car. Like, oh my gosh, really? This sucks. So I crawl out of the car. Well, the next day, after they looked at, at the, at dailies, you know, they had reviewed all the footage. The next day, I was like, oh, that looked great. That was amazing. That's going to be so cool. We love it. Well, why couldn't you say that yesterday when I felt yeah. like that big? <laughs> so, Baby Driver, people watched it and they liked it. Drive, you know, again, another movie that people actually liked. I can't tell you how many movies. I've done stuff on that I'm, you know, that I'm like, oh, that was really fun. I can't wait to see it. But the movie tanks, so no one ever, no one, you know, we never talk about it. Yeah, you know, and these are both, like, both movies are about driving. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The main thing. I, it's so it's I'm so fortunate to be part of those because especially because there aren't many dri there there isn't a lot of driving in them. Uh, yeah. If you if you if you look at it honestly, there's it's not like you know Fast and Furious is about driving and you've got a list like three columns deep. Of like eight point font, all the all the stunt people and the drivers that worked yeah. on those things. But these movies, it's a very small list, so I feel very fortunate to to uh, to be on that because uh, they were they are about driving. It is fun, but it, it wasn't a it wasn't a big call. It was very very few parts. Yeah. For the rest of your life, you're going to be looking over your shoulder.